A pandemic, an economic crisis, and racial unrest all in a year. And two men have guided Tulsa and Oklahoma City through it all. Hasn't been easy. We sat down with both men to see how they navigated the challenges ahead. Here's Carl Torp and Craig Day with the Oklahoma Allies. This is a time to protect the people of Oklahoma City. We want Tulsa to be out ahead uh, of this. I will be declaring a state of emergency in Oklahoma City. Things are uncertain and, and public health is at stake to always err on the side of caution. We're open-minded to anything that preserves public health. It's been a tumultuous time in the state and for the mayors of Oklahoma's two biggest cities, unlike anything they've ever had to navigate. We're gonna start with COVID-19 and, and just during the height of COVID-19, you guys are really making policy for the state. The two biggest cities in Oklahoma were really dictating what the rest of the state was doing. How did that go down between you two? When we came in, we had been friends for 20 years. But I think early on, it was more about resetting the tone of the relationship between the cities away from this sort of stupid sibling rivalry. I don't think either of us ever expected that we would be dealing with the greatest public health crisis either of our cities have ever had to face. Uh, and using that dynamic to help each other out. Early on, that was sharing information on the virus itself, how it was transmitted, what it would take to slow the spread. They were both dealing with similar populations and similar circumstances, both with the virus and the regulatory environment. I think we realized pretty quickly um, that we would probably have to coordinate that, you know, if the if the state had maybe come in immediately with, with various mitigating factors, you know, we, we probably wouldn't have been put in that same position. And in other states, that's sometimes what happened. But here, that wasn't coming, at least in the earliest days. After that Thunder game that essentially signaled the beginning of the pandemic, the two mayors talked almost every day, sometimes every hour. We ultimately got to that point when we both asked our residents to shelter in place. We did time it down to like 12 o'clock on a Saturday. Let's do it at the exact, let's announce it to our residents at the exact same time. You know that everybody that's in the areas with the greatest population density where this virus can spread the fastest, you're gonna be under the same set of rules. And I think that helped build confidence. It's the same strategy that the two mayors say they use when it comes to building the economies of both cities. Let's talk about economic uh, opportunity. Um, how can the cities work together in the future? I think one of the things that Mayor Holt and I have tried to do in our times in this job is create cities that are attractive for companies that are looking at locating in Oklahoma. And we have this, I think, incorrect mindset that like Tulsa and Oklahoma City are so far apart. And oh my gosh, it's, you know, it takes an hour and a half if you're driving the speed limit to get from one to the other. That's like a short commute for people who are used to living on the coasts. And the things that they're doing in Oklahoma City, they help us recruit business here in Tulsa, and I think vice versa. I think, yeah, I think we can be mutually beneficial, and we also, I think, inspire each other. I mean, I think we've both borrowed things from the other through the years to improve our quality of life, which has really been the secret sauce. I mean, sure, tax policy, regulatory policy, workers' comp reform, I mean, those things obviously do matter to companies, but. I don't think any of those things would have been enough if our two cities had not invested in themselves over the last 20, 30 years to build a city that people want to live in. Interesting, huh? We also talked to Mayor Holt and Mayor Bynum about this summer's heated demonstrations. We've put their interview on News9.com and on the News9 streaming apps on Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and Roku.